Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Is anyone there? Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Very good, very good. Who else is there? Hello. I'm here, teacher. <laughs> hello, how are you? A little bit better, but I... I mean, with the with the heaviest headache that I ever had. So, oh my I don't god, the camera off and I turn off, but I I don't have flu, so I cannot speak. <laughs> All right, okay. So I I hope you get better soon, Erica. <laughs> so you. yeah, take some pills that may help. Okay. Well, let's see. Where are your classmates? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to give one more minute, so we are going to wait for the rest of the class, and then we are going to start, okay? So, let's see, let's see, I'm going to tell them to hurry up. It's Tuesday, it's not Friday, oh my goodness. Okay. We are going to give them one minute. If they don't appear, we are going to start, okay? So I'm just going to give them a minute before starting. Today is Martes de Alero. <laughs> what? Martes what? Martes de Aleros. De Aleros? Yes, from Buffalo Wings. Ah, got it. <laughs> That's true. I thought that it was Thursday. So no, that's... Jueves, what... eh, Thursday is eh, Jueves de Amigos. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Well, let's see. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. I can see Fatima. How are you, Fatima? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Excellent, excellent. I can see Jamie too. Hello, Jamie. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, I can see some of your classmates are still not here, so I hope they can connect soon. How was the traffic today? I think that, that the traffic is affecting some of your classmates. How was the traffic, everyone? Heavy? A lot of traffic? Or not? Yes. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay. So yeah, I think that the traffic is affecting. Maybe that's why your classmates uh, cannot connect yet. But we're going to start. Do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Uh-huh. The four P's. The four P's, yes. What else do you remember? Hmm. What was the meaning? Oh, what was the four P's stand for? The first. Oh. Product, yes. Price. Okay. Place and promotion and promotion. Place and promotion. Very good. Very good job. Excellent. So we are going to continue reviewing the topic. We are going to have a more practice today. The idea for this class is to learn vocabulary. So everyone. 
keep your notebook ready because every single word that you find that is new for you, write it down, okay? So yesterday we had a homework. Do you remember that homework? Yes. I think that that's the reason why your classmates are not here yet. They don't want to present the homework, huh? Okay, well, but I hope uh, all of your classmates connect soon. So let's start. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, so today is March 28th. Okay, so everybody, we are about to finish this month. So we are in the week number two, unit number two. So don't forget the platform, everyone, okay? Now, this is a topic that we are going to study today, marketing vocabulary. So basically the vocabulary that we are going to study today is about marketing. So we are going to study different uh, words, different phrases and collocations that we can use. This is the class objective for today. So I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, marketing vocabulary practice class objective to analyze the components of the product and price strategies of a um, Facebook national product or service. Thank you. Exactly. So that is what we are going to do today. But before starting, this is a topic that we studied yesterday. If you remember, we studied the four letter piece, okay, about the marketing mix. And we established that design belongs to which category? Product, price, place, or promotion? Product. Product. How about discount? Discount is price. Okay. Retail location? Place. Place. Public relations. Promotion. Promotions. Promotion. Advertising. Promotion too. Very Promotion. good. Brand name. Product. Product. Okay. Personal selling. Promotion. Promotions. Packaging. Product. Okay. Product. How about payment plans? Price. Price. Okay. Credit terms. Price too. Okay. Inventory. Place. Place. And the last one, transportation. Place. Place too. Excellent job. So yesterday we had a practice. I told you that you had to pick a national product or a service right? And you had to identify the four letter P's in that product. So I gave you the example about La Neveria, right? We established that the product, they offer different type of products. They have different type of prices. Uh, we can find them in different places. And I talk about a little bit the promotion. So that is what you are going to do. Because of the time yesterday, we couldn't do that. So we are going to do it right now. So in the team number one, Ah, but I think that we are we don't have the teams completely. Okay, in the team number one, let me see if I got all of the members. I have Christian. I think Christian is not here yet. I have Erica. I have, let's see who else. I had Jamie. I had Oscar and Rosalina. So I have only two members, I guess, from the team number one. <laughs> okay, team number one, you have to present right now. So again, Christian, Erica, Jamie, Oscar, and Rosalina. So I need a member who tell me what is the product? What is the product or service that you picked? Uh-huh. The, 
the product that we did choose is coffee cup. Ah, very good. Okay, so Jamie, explain me the product. Uh, the coffee cup uh, can offer a, a different uh, product like dessert or drink. Mm -hmm. uh, different, uh, different kinds of de or dessert like uh, UK uh, and another. And uh, different kind of coffee like American coffee, uh, frappe, and another. All right. So, okay. So they offer hot drinks and cold drinks. Very good. Okay. So let's see another member of the team. Please explain me the price. Okay. Uh, excuse me for my camera because it's bad, but I promise in the next week it's already after vacation. It's, <laughs> All right. Okay. The price uh, talking about in the group is uh, high and very high. Notice uh, lower prices because uh, when you buy some, also you buy status. All like, right. Not like a Starbucks, but similar. You buy in coffee cup. It's the same coffee in the in another place ship, but in that case the price is, is high, no. And how about the quality? Ah, uh, it's very, very uh, good quality because the coffee is um Pacamara is the name. Is the um, ay, Montaña. Mountain? Uh -huh, the, is the high mountain, then it's the best coffee. Uh, today I ask about the coffee because you say yesterday you need information for today and then uh, because uh, the price for uh, coffee grains grants grants uh -huh. uh, uh, told me about the Pacamara is the best coffee in El Salvador. Ah, it's very only for, for export coffee. All right, uh, so that's the reason why. The coffee the, is, is expensive, right? Yes, because it yes. has a high quality. All right, yes, interesting. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now, anyone else from the team explain me the place? Another member, please, in that team. I don't know if I'm in that team. <laughs> uh, we have Christian, Erika, <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> Oscar, and Rosalina. Yes. Rosalina, right? Tell me. So I remember uh, Rosalina talked about the place. They usually used to be on the mall and they have the highest store or the cafeteria in Boulevard Los Aires next to home, uh, sorry, Office Depot. All right, okay. But the most of the store that they have, they are on, uh, uh, on mall. Wow, okay. Can we find the cafeteria? up in the beach no and in the gas stations actually uh, in the texaco gas station i remember rosalina says mm, okay so the most common one is basically in the malls yes okay sounds good sounds good now how about the last option that it was promotion? I don't know, anyone from the team? Explain me promotion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only one, please. <laughs> okay, I'm trying that, uh, talking about uh, two promotion. Mm -hmm. The one is a loyalty customer in the coffee cup. When you buy when you buy some, uh, the seller give a car and put stamp for each 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 uh, purchase. Purchase, yeah, purchase. And at the end, uh, you pick up free uh, products. Ah. Depend, depend the number of uh, stamps is the products. And the other one. Um, I talking, I talking about the personal selling. 
because when I visit some place in off building office or office building, I don't know. Okay. I, I saw the ladies uh, sell the coffee. It's already the coffee and, and visit the office ah. and ask about if you want the coffee. And it's, it's, it's another, another promotion, no? The, yeah, definitely. Pretty nice. And Jamie and, talking talking uh -huh. about the uh, Jamie, do you remember you talking about the when you buy a dessert, the combine the American I, coffee? Could you explain I that? Rem please? I remember that if you buy a dessert, they give you a coffee, American coffee. Ah, very nice, very nice. And how about how about um, members of the teams the advertising? Where can I see the advertising for this product? Mm. Do they have publicity? Do they have? Uh, uh, do they send emails to their customers or can I see some advertising on social networks? What do you think? I have, I have advertised in the social network because when we launched a new drink, mm -hmm. uh, he offers in the social network. Ah, very good. Excellent team. Very good job. Very good job. So everybody, that was about the coffee cup. These girls already explained all the P's. So they explained the product, price, place, and promotion. Very good job, team. Excellent. And by the way, extra points because the coffee cup is my favorite, actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I love it. I prefer the coffee cup um, instead of Starbucks. So yeah. definitely extra points. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Team number two. In the team number two, I have a Carlos. I think that I'm not sure if he's here. And I have Fatima. Fatima is here. Yes, Fatima is here. Gabriel, Hector. Uh, yes, they are here. And Pamela. Is Pamela here? Yes, there you are. Okay, members, I need you, a volunteer from the team who explain me the product. <laughs> Only one, please. Or if you want, I can pick. Um, sorry, Pamela, but I cannot hear you. Um, hello? I don't know if it is me. I cannot hear you. Can you listen to her? No. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm sorry, Pamela. I think that maybe try with a microphone. And I can see that you open your microphone, but it's I cannot listen to you. Okay, while she's trying to fix it, it, try it with a headset maybe, or with some earphones. That may help. Okay, while she tries, uh, let me hear another member of the team. So I don't know, Fatima or Hector, uh, explain me the product. Okay, sure. Um, we select the product, uh, Panescoyo. Mm -hmm. uh, about the product is a uh, bread with turkey. And they have a salad, um, salad drink special uh, made for day. Oh, uh huh. Um, the packaging is um is a uh, aluminum paper for for to to delivery. 
in the restaurant they they have um a dishes okay yes and so if you if you you can ask for delivery too or you can eat it at the restaurant um for delivery they use a a packaging and aluminum paper ah okay the turkey and they how do you say serve serve they serve in their restaurant mm -hmm. for eat and in dishes all right and what is the quality of the product um the quality they is, have oh. is delicious or the ingredients are not so good or or what is the quality yes they they have a they has a good quality okay all right sounds good sounds good now another member of the team please explain me the price teacher yes uh, this product is very very specific i don't know if have a competition maybe um a subway but it's, it's very very different because mm. it's honest goyo use a turkey like a jose como diría a big big portion portion i uh have -huh, big portion and and use a particular um, sauce okay. it's very very different and this for this situation the price is is um no no high but no uh, cheaper it's not ah. cheap it's medium because so it, I, it's I think, not expensive but it is not cheap no no it's it's, it's in like uh medium middle I don't know. <laughs> okay middle. like a okay. medium is a, is a people call gust I think. okay all right uh -huh. it, it's very specific and uh, the price is, is for for this situation they 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 have opportunity for sale the product and on own own o w n okay own a uh, uh, regulation i don't know it is uh, uh, the price is not not this cheap but it's not expensive it mm -hmm. only if you if you like this this product you go to buy this product mm. but you don't have money now go another, <laughs> another um establish establishment to, to burger king <laughs> burger king no uh, I mean, no because it, it's cheaper it's cheaper but now how uh uh turkey yeah that's true that's and, true and they they sell only chicken turkey ah. i think only uh only a uh, subway but it's like uh uh think thing thing mm -hmm. thing Turkey is is processed processed. Ah, so imagine. imagine that that's a very important point. So they offer turkey high quality, and not all of the restaurants offer turkey. So mm -hmm. that makes them unique, and that's why the price is not so cheap. Hmm. No cheap. That sounds good. Okay, let's see, Pamela. Let's see if I can hear you now. Uh um no I cannot hear you. Um let's do something. L try to go out and then enter again. Sometimes that helps. Okay? Go out of the class and enter please. Okay, I need another member of the team. Please explain me the next letter P that is place. Uh huh. I think that Gabriel. Well, he said that he's listening. I guess. 
Carlos is not here. So Fatima, Hector, one of you had to explain me the place. Mm -hmm. Piedra, papel, o tijera. <laughs> uh, the place. Okay. Uh, if you, if you, if you uh, can I can I explain, Fatima? The place they it has um a one local in Antiguo Cuscatlán in front of La Tecleña. All right. Okay. And let's see, Hector, do they offer delivery? They are, uh, but only a specific delivery, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Uber, Uber it. But oh, so no. you, you have to use an app? Listen up. You have to use an app, an app from the cell phone if you want delivery. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. App, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. For only, I think only for the, for for this, but you can buy into the the, the store um and sit side uh, place and you can deliver it. But uh, in your in your in my in my in my car or eat in another in another side because the the place is not very big. Is is is. Small Venezuela don't have don't has delivery because it's a family business. Ah, very nice. And mm -hmm. can I find these type of restaurants at the malls in different malls? No, not really. No. no. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, sounds good. Let's see, Pamela, are you there? Hello, hello. I cannot hear you. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I don't know maybe if you had headsets that could help because unfortunately I cannot help. I, I cannot listen to you. But, but yesterday she she worked very, very, very hard for, for this. Ah, that's great. So she yeah, gave a lot of ideas. She, yeah, they, they apport, apport. Gave, <laughs> she gave? Gave many, many ideas. Ah, that's excellent. Okay, so, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm sorry, so the team, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hello, teacher, can you yes, hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> uh, I, I connect in my cell phone too i'm with the computer in in my cell phone i don't know i think it's my computer yeah no problem okay pamela so explain me the last one that is the promotion the promotion promotion and um, we put here that panescoyo have a seasonal offers for example like in Christmas time, they offer like um, like turkey feast, like the the turkey with the sauce and the salad for the Christmas dinner. Um, then uh, they have a well, I I have seen some advertisements of Panescoyo in Facebook. The, there there is the the way that they they promotion and, and they have marketing to to the customers all right sounds good very interesting okay team nice job very good very good interesting information now they already explained the four p's for these product nice job now let's move on to the team number three in the team number three i had antonio i had holman mirna and selvin okay i need a volunteer to explain me the first letter p that is product
Okay. Me, teacher? <laughs> okay, Mirna, okay. very good. Go ahead. The, the product that was choice yesterday is what um, Pollo Bonanza is national, national product. And is uh, the the package of this product is is in a box that you you can find a dinosaur in front of the the the, the box that they the packaging and uh, the quality is I like the quality is high quality because I like uh, it's different uh, taste uh, is uh, is the the taste is different and unique because it's is very is a family business too, and and the escabeche or coles coles is is a special that they have, and I think that the receipt they have a when they they put in the oven the, the chicken they marinate with a special special uh, receipt with spices different spices and this is the taste different and unique than the the other because the the competitor that pollo bonanza is pollo real um um el peche <laughs> <laughs> yes is del peche in, yeah uh, but uh, the the quality, uh, in my opinion, in our opinion, in the group is that high quality and the price is is low. It's All lower right. than if you compare than others. But but this is the 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 the, the product. It's Pollo Bonanza. It's national and business family, and they have a special box. Or the characteristic of the box is very very. Um, when you when you identify very easy because uh, is uh, they no shame and, and during the the time they have forty seven years old yes it is no shame I remember when I was a child my my <laughs> my parent um, uh, give uh, give us uh, the the the, the pollo bonanza they, um. they bought yeah, they bought they bought the pollo bonanza and, yeah, it's a nostalgic product, and I don't know sure, but it's national, <laughs> national product. Very nice. Okay, excellent. So only one observation. How can I say receta in English? Receipt? No. Recipe. <laughs> oh, recipe. Recipe. If you recipe. say receipt, that sounds more like um como un recibo right un receipt oh, something okay. like that but is recipe okay? recipe okay thank you nice okay very good so i need another member of the team to explain me please the price aha uh -huh. so antonio holman selvin hi hi okay holman go ahead uh well, about the price for me is it's low is we ship the price is it's okay the the the, the product is the the chicken is very good and the quality is it's it's okay it's, it's perfect for me and so the price is 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 cheap. And when you when you eat in the restaurant, it's more expensive. But the difference is about uh, one one dollar one dollar for for comb when you eat in the restaurant. But when you when you buy to to To, to take for out takeaway for takeaway uh -huh. yes when you buy for takeaway it's cheaper the mm. difference the difference of the uh full full chicken is around four dollars okay all right sounds good and you you can you can buy uh a one cup for a person personal comb, the double comb, or the full full comb. And when you buy comb, it's more, it's, it's cheaper. Well, but 
when you buy just uh, one cup, a personal cup, is do, do you from... do you mean combo com combo combo? Yes, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, combo. Oh, do you say combo? And it's the English? same. It's, it's the same. same. Okay. Yes. Okay, so basically this uh, product is cheaper to delivery yeah. and if you eat at the restaurant, it's a little bit more expensive. Yeah, yes. But a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's see. Antonio, explain me the place. Okay, teacher. Uh, I remember we, we were talking about there is only branch, branch or local here in El Salvador. So, only one? Yes. Okay. And here, here, here is in, in San Salvador, Calle Arce, uh, number 521. Okay, so basically only one location. Do they offer yes. delivery? Yes or no? I don't yes, know. teacher. Yes. 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 The, the question is that, that I, I have never visited this place. Ah, okay. But I uh, live with uh, Mirna in, in Holma. In Holma, in, okay. Yes, but it's an uh, interesting place for me. Sounds good. Sounds, actually, it sounds very interesting. Okay, thank you. I need another member of the team to explain me the last letter P that is promotion. Who's going to explain that? Holman or Mirna? I think that I have Oscar too, but I'm not sure if he's listening um, or not. Sure. Yes? La, the promotion. Mm -hmm. Um, it's this when you when you when you buy a comp, you have mm -hmm. a, a promotion. If the price is different. It's mm. better. It's better buy a, a double comp or full comp. And when you when you when you eat uh, dirt, is is it is a little bit expensive. Okay. Uh, I, I, I never uh, buy a, uh, uh, to take out. Offered, uh, just the 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 personal comb or me or and sometimes I I buy the the double co combo. So for me, just is the, the, the promotion by full comp or double comp and, and only buy for the home ah. to take away is more is, is cheaper, but you have to do you 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 have to To be patient. Patient. <laughs> uh -huh. Because always, uh, always, always, uh, there is, uh, I don't remember, how can I say, fila or cola? Line or always, queue. Line or queue. Always you, you have to do a line for, for, uh, to buy the product. Yes. Or, mm. or so you, you had to wait a lot. Um, a little bit, but always uh, there is a light. Always. Okay. All right. <laughs> nice. Yes. It's national. National. <laughs> okay. No, but the promotion also, as well, yeah, they buy Facebook or social media, Facebook and Holman say like a combo or maybe in season and a special season like a Christmas, they they have a, a special combo. Okay. In Christmas, but it's, it's very, very family uh, business. 
Sounds it's, it's interesting. Coming. Nice. Yes. Very good. Very good. Yeah, that's the only observation team. Remember, if you want to say the word combo in Spanish is combo. In English is exactly the same. Combo. Okay. Combo. It's the same. Yes. And combo. And, combo. And recipe. 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 Yes. Yeah, recipe. Recipe. Okay. okay. Thank you, uh, team. Very good job. Now, the last team. In the last team, I had a lot. Almost all the team is listener in the last team. I got Isabel, I got Ivan, Lucy, and Magdaleno. But unfortunately, I, Ivan and Magdaleno were they cannot participate in this moment, but Magdaleno sent the PPT. So I will need, I think that only Isabel and Lucy had to explain. So they are going to talk about Anthony's bakery. Okay, a volunteer from the team to explain the product, please. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Lucy. This product is a focus about the um, sweet bread. It's a baker, a family-owned bakery in the Occidental Zone here in Sonsonate. Um, they have um, some um, succursales. No sé cómo se dice. I don't know. You can say just branch, branch or uh, locals. They have they have a lot of locals here in Acajutla and Sonsonate. And it's like the they have places in the um, malls, like Metro Centro. And well, the product is the uh, different kind of desserts, like the sweet bread, they um manufacture or elaborate the different type of pastries. And the next slide I think is the price. Mm -hmm. Mommy. The price is, um, they have affordable price because they offered um, some groups of pastries to a low cost. And for the seasonal, Time like uh, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, they offer discounts. All right. <laughs> so it, of, it, is, it is not so expensive. It is not so expensive, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, I don't know if Isabel can continue. Please explain okay. me the place. Isabella, are you there? Hello. Okay, in that case, Lucy, you have to continue. I'm sorry because there are not other members of your team. Okay, and the place that's like I said at the start, a lot of location in Sonsonate. They have a delivery option too. And, and they offered, um, they have a, a song, um, a schedule very available to the, to the people. It's like a, they, and they start operation at set at six for breakfast and they close like at 6 p.m. or seven. Oh my god. So they have uh, all day all day basically. <laughs> six, yes. All and right. functions and they offer that advertisement on every on everywhere. And I I saw in Sonsonate a lot of um, publishment or advertisement for this bakery. Um, they use uh, speakers on a car. I don't know what is the correct reference in English. Mm -hmm. Okay. They, they, here they use uh, in, in a car speakers and they communicate for all the people around the, the promotions. 
And they have spots around at the local radio too. All right, very nice, very nice. Okay, thank, thank you, you, Lucy. That was an interesting product, very nice. So it's more popular in Sonsonate, basically. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, everyone, that was the practice about yesterday. So with this activity, the purpose is that you don't forget the four Ps. Okay, can we repeat? What was the first P? Road. Very good, the next? Price. Uh-huh, and then? Place. Place. Very good, and? Promotion. Very promotion. good, the promotions, exactly. So listen, the idea everyone is we need to try it to explain. I know that sometimes it's difficult to explain our ideas, right? I know that uh, some of you have some issues, some struggles trying to explain, try to uh, tell your thoughts, organize your ideas, but that is the purpose for these type of activities, okay, that you need to explain. Now, very good job. Now we are going to continue and now we are going to learn some specific vocabulary related to marketing. Okay, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yes, yes? excellent. Oh, but before continue, I'm sorry, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Uh, Carlos Abrego. Carlos Abrego. Okay, very good. Christian Alexander. Okay. Erika Yasmin. Present. Very good. Fatima Denise. Present teacher. Okay. Gabriel Beltran. Oh, he's listener. Okay. Um, Hector Francisco. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Isabel Hernandez. Present miss. Okay. Ivan Guzman. Oh, he's listener too. Okay. Jamie Raquel. Welcome. Very good. Holman Hiron. Present. Okay. Lucy Natalie. Present. Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Okay. Nelson Antonio. Present. Okay. Oscar Armando. Present. Okay. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Selvin Adonai. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present. Very good. Okay, everyone, let's learn some vocabulary about marketing. Can you see the presentation again? Yes. 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 Just, just, just a question. Just a question. Yes. Are you watching my name or my little sister name? Um, Erica, Jasmine, okay. your name. <laughs> yeah, okay, no worries. <laughs> okay. So everyone, before starting, we are going to talk about brands. We are going to learn vocabulary related to marketing. When we talk about marketing, we talk about brands. Can you name some famous brands that you know? Nike. Nike, yes. What else? Adidas. Okay, very good. McDonald's. Good. Apple. All right. So you see, there are very, very common um, these brands. So we are going to have a game. And in this game, we are going to learn some vocabulary and we are going to name some brands. I'm going to give you some characteristics of a company and you have to try to guess what company is that. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to pick the number one. Imagine, this is an American tech company. It's the most popular engine in the world. It's set in California. They had different products like 
Gmail, Android, and YouTube. So what is the name of this company? Google. Google, are you sure? Yes, I think Microsoft now. Actually, yes, it's Google. Google. <laughs> Very good job. So if you see, I have a timer here. So the idea is that you guess before the time ends. Is it clear, the game, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, team number one will be girls. Team number two will be boys. Okay, girls, you start. Give me a number. Six. Six. Okay, remember, try to read fast so you can guess. Uh huh. Look, Japanese video game. I think it's Nintendo. 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 <laughs> okay. Wow, very fast. How did you get that it was Nintendo? Because Mario they appeared the Switch in Game Boy. Ah, very Mario. Good. And Mario. Okay. Mario. <laughs> so, girls, very good job. You got a point. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number five, teacher. Perfect. Uh huh. Apple. 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 Are you sure? I'm sure. Apple. Yes. How did you guess that? Steve Jobs. It's the key, <laughs> the key word. Yeah. Right. Steve Jobs. And is iPhone. Yeah, very good. IPhone. And an iPhone, very good. Okay, boys, you got a point too. Girls, give me a number. Uh -huh. Which one? Number two. Number two, okay. Mm -hmm. Lego. Lego. Lego, are you sure? Lego, yes. <laughs> How did you know that? Because I love it. Park in Florida, park in Florida. Ah, very good. Excellent girls. Very good job. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Four. Number four, okay. Mm hmm what is the company? Ten, 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 ten seconds. Walmart. Walmart, Wait. are you sure? Mm -hmm. I think. And actually that is the one. Very good, very good. So if you if you paid attention, Walmart is a family-owned business. Imagine it started very small, but now it's huge. Okay, boys, nice job, nice job. Girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Three. Okay. Hmm. Nestle. Nestle. Are you sure? Yes. yes. It's Nescafe. Yeah. Ah, very good. Yeah. I think that this has a lot of keywords like Nescafe, KitKat, Herbert. So they got a lot of keywords. Nice job, girls. Boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number seven. Okay. McDonald's. McDonald's. Are McDonald's. you sure? Yeah. Definitely. Look, it says Big Mac. So it's very obviously. Very good. <laughs> Excellent job, boys. Okay, now we have a tie. So, girls, this is the last one for you. Number eight or number nine? Uh huh. Girls, eight or nine? Which one? Eight. 
Okay. Hmm, this is very, very famous. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, definitely. Very yeah. good. Very good. Okay, boys, this is the last one for you. If you guess, this is going to be a tie. It's a very famous two. Nike. Which one? Nike. Nike, are you sure? No. Yes or no? Um, yes. yes. Nike. Actually, yes. Nike, Nike <laughs> that was the one. If you see, they had here, just do it. That is the, the tagline for them, right? Very good job, excellent. Okay, if you see, the idea is to learn about brands, okay? And that is what we are going to discuss right now. I had a question for you. When you buy a product, do you buy a particular brand? Think about everything, about food, clothes, shoes, or any kind of product. Do you buy a particular brand or is like, nah, whatever. I just take the product and that's it. What do you think? Yes. Uh-huh. I buy, I buy always bands, shoes. Ah, very good point. So why? Why do you buy that brand? I love it's my favorite brand of, of clothes. Okay, very good. The quality, the quality is very good and the price is, it's okay. Mm, very nice, very nice. How about you, everyone? When you buy a product, do you buy a particular brand? Think about the food. When you go to the supermarket, do you have your favorite brands or nah, whatever? I just picked the product. What do you think? In my teacher, I like the hand. Ten, I don't know if the, if you do the pronunciation. Han, Han Ten, is a cloth. Oh, okay. A, a lot, a lot cloth, uh, for a sport mm. and for casual. It's very, very cheaper. It's and very the, cheap. And the quality for me is very good. All right, sounds good. So, I think that some of you, right, only have some particular brands that you prefer, very good. Now, I want you to think in these brands that we have below. I have Amazon, Skype, Microsoft, and so on and so on. What do you think about these brands? Um, when you think about this brand, do you think that they have positive or negative qualities? What do you think about these brands? What comes to your mind? For example, when you see a uh, Google, what comes to your mind when you see that brand? Mm -hmm. Can you repeat, please? In my case, uh -huh. I think it's about how do you use it for? Very good, correct. What else, everyone? When you see these brands, what comes to your mind? Uh, for me, iPhone is very expensive. So imagine when, for example, when we see Apple, maybe what comes to our mind is expensive, right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good quality. It's good quality. But expensive. But I think it's, it's very expensive. Uh, the, the camera is, is very good, but I think it's very expensive. Definitely. Uh, when you use uh, Samsung, Samsung is, is cheaper. It's expensive, but it's cheaper. It's cheaper than iPhone. 
Uh -huh. but, mm -hmm. but the quality is very good. It's, it's good, but I think iPhone is it's expensive. Okay, definitely. So, talking about brands, everyone, we are going to learn this branding term. So, pay a lot of attention here. For example, we have brand awareness, brand loyalty, brand economy, brand positioning, brand identity brand premium or premium brand and brand image. So the idea is we are going to learn what is the meaning. For example, brand loyalty. What is that with your own words? What do you think? What is the meaning of brand loyalty? Como like um, when you prefer, when you always uh, buy this, this, this brand. Ah. Loyal for that, for that brand. You Excellent. always, buy, always prefer that brand than like uh, others, than others. Very good, excellent. So exactly, Teacher. that is brand loyalty, yes? I have a question. Go ahead. It's a, mm, I don't know, but uh, Barcelona, Real Madrid, or any any single think group, like a Héroe del Silencio, another, <laughs> is, 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 is brand too. Not really, because they are not selling a product. Ah, it's only for sell product. Or a service, right? A service. Mm -hmm. In this uh -huh. case, I mean, a soccer team, they are not selling a product that we go and buy it. Not really, right? However, these teams, they have some sponsors. And the brands that sponsor the teams, those are our brands. For example, Nike or Adidas, for example, those Reebok. are brands. Reeboks, mm. yeah, those are brands. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, everyone. The idea is, and this is what I want you to do. I want you to complete the definitions with the correct word so for example talking about brand loyalty what will be the correct definition do you think that customers ability to recognize a brand and connect to its products do you think that brands loyalty yes or no no the answer is i think is the number four Number four, a customer's habit of always buying the same product. Do you yes. agree, everyone? Yes, loyalty. Yes. Very good. Okay, so please, I'm going to give you five minutes and we are going to try to complete this match. Read carefully the definition and complete these with the correct words. Going to give you five minutes go ahead you can complete it in your notebooks and then we are going to check the answers go ahead if you have a question just let me know
If you have a question, let me know, please. Read carefully the definitions. Try to guess what will be the correct word. If there is a word that you don't understand what the meaning is, tell me so I can help you with that. Read carefully. You ready everyone? or not yet. Read carefully, read carefully. I'm going to give you two more minutes. Two more minutes and then we're going to check the answers. All right, everyone, let's see the answers. In the number one, a customer's ability to recognize a brand and connect it to its products. Hmm, so what do you think? What is that? Anyone? Do you think that is brand loyalty, brand awareness? Maybe identity. Or identity. Brand identity. Brand identity, are you okay. sure? Yes. Identity. For me, it's a brand image. Brand image. Uh -huh. Anyone has another idea? No? For okay. Identity. identity. So okay. in the number one actually is brand <laughs> awareness. What is the meaning of awareness, everyone? Okay, the translation. What is the translation? Exactly. You have the knowledge. So, si ustedes reconocen, if you have the knowledge about the brand, you are able to recognize it. Okay, so the first one is brand awareness. Okay, the number two, customer's real view of a brand. Identity. Identity, okay. Any other idea? Imagine. <laughs> image, brand image. 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 Okay. 
That is the one, actually. Remember, everyone, when you see a brand, we create an image of that brand. Okay, so we can see it. We can see like what we think about that. We can see the logo, we can identify it. So that is the real view is something that belongs to us. <laughs> Number three, what a company wants a customer to think about them. Identity. Maybe identity. That is the one. Identity. I want you to see the difference, okay? Brand identity is the concept that a brand wants you to have. For example, eh, think about Coca-Cola. Okay, ¿qué quiere Coca-Cola que pensemos de ellos? Ah, that they are good for you, <laughs> that they have high quality, that they are the best, that they offer you the best products in the world. Eso es lo que usted, ellos quieren que ustedes piensen. Esa es la identity que ellos quieren tener. That is the idea for brand identity. But brand image es lo que ustedes piensan de la brand. Es la imagen que ustedes tienen de ellos. So, for example, what is the image that you have from Coca-Cola? Some people think Coca-Cola is unhealthy. That is the image that you may have from Coca-Cola. Some others can think, no, Coca-Cola is delicious, is good for me. That is the image that you have from that product. So is it clear the difference between brand image and brand identity? Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Okay. How about the number four? What is the complete loyalty. phrase? Ah, very good. The brand loyalty. How about the number five? Positioning? Positioning. Positioning, definitely. Very good. Number six, low prices. An economy. Economy. Economy brand. Can you give me examples of economy brands? Do you know? Dollar <laughs> Yeah, why not? Definitely. What else? Economy brands that you know? If we have Coca-Cola, we have big Coca cola. cola. <laughs> big cola, yeah, definitely. Good examples. And the last one, number seven. What is the answer? Premium. Mm -hmm. Okay, the premium brands. The characteristic of this kind of brands is that they have high quality, but also high prices. Give me examples of premium brands. iPhone. <laughs> yeah, so definitely we got the iPod. The Apple is very expensive, yes. Another premium brand. Mercedes. Mercedes, yeah, that's another very, very expensive brand. What else? Volkswagen. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> right? It's very delicious, but very expensive. So if you see, those are examples of premium brands. So is it clear, everyone, these terms about branding yes hmm i don't feel you so confident okay so to be confident let's practice some questions so for example the first question says do you have a favorite brand everyone yes or no yes yes <laughs> ah okay so what is it? What are the things you can about? Clothes, drink, 
Good. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can think about everything. For example, in my case, do you have a favorite brand? Absolutely. When I drink coffee, <laughs> my favorite brand is the coffee cup. So think in general. Do you have a favorite brand? Yes, I have a favorite brand. Which one? For example, in my case, the, the sneaker or shoes or yes, I, I, I like that new balance. Brand. Ah, sounds yes, good. Because it's very it's very comfortable and is is nice. It's is 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 very is yeah comfortable is comfortable yes comfortable com comfortable yes very good excellent okay look at the question number three what are some brands with high awareness look vocabulary what are some brands with high brand awareness what is the meaning of this topic? Brand awareness? What does that mean? Like conocimiento de la marca? Exactly. The the uh -huh. uh -huh. So that means what are some brands that everybody knows about them? So we mentioned Apple, do you think that Apple has a high brand awareness? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. because everybody knows about them. Can you give me another example of brands with high brand awareness? Yes. Nike. Nike, yes. What else? Samsung. Very good. McDonald's. McDonald's, yes, very good. So everyone, we are going to practice the vocabulary and we are going to ask and answer these questions. I'm going to send them on WhatsApp's group. And the idea is uh, we are going to go to the breaking rooms and we are going to practice. Please everybody remember that in this moment, we cannot talk in Spanish. If you don't find the words, remember, you can ask your classmates, hey, I don't know how to say this word. And you can help each other, okay? And um, I already sent the questions on WhatsApp's groups. Can you see them? Can you see the questions? Yes? Yes, yes. Excellent. I know that some people right now are listeners, okay? So if you are in a group, and nobody is answering you, so let me know and I will switch you to another team. Okay, everybody, let's go and practice. Zero Spanish, please. Let's go. Hello, Rosalina, are you there? <laughs> yes, Jamie, I'm, I'm here. Okay, uh, I don't know if the question are in the chat. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. The first question, do you have a favorite brand? Yes. Which one? My favorite brand. Uh, my favorite brand is about the car. Ah, about the car. I like, uh -huh. I fanatic. I don't know if I can say that fanatic. <laughs> the uh, brand Toyota. <laughs> Toyota. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, for me, Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Yeah. <laughs> the Lancer. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Hi. Did you call me? 
No. Ah, okay. I thought no. you called me. Okay, sorry. Continue, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, Christian. Christian. The teacher in the chat is. Uh... Yes. Oh. Um, I'm joining Pamela, your other user, to the team. Okay. Ya lo uní a este mismo team, pero no se une. So, lo que puede hacer es que el audio, please, el que tienen el other team, salga, saca, sáquelo de la clase y lo vuelve a entrar y yo lo vuelvo a unir a este team. Okay. So, you can use it. Okay, continue, please. Okay, teacher. <laughs> okay. So, this is you do not wear makeup. I, so. <laughs> I don't know makeup brands. Uh, you don't you wear, you don't wear makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so, our sneakers or clothes? The sneaker for me, new bands are good for me. Why? Um, I don't know why. I prefer that... Nikes. Ay, mm, for Adidas. The styles, I don't like the styles so or much. Or bands. So the, I prefer the commodity than the styles. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer for, the high heels, so. <laughs> uh, for me, one brand, my, my, one of my favorite brands are... Peace. KC, it's a brand of earphones. I love that brand. And oh, the earphones. The yeah, kind yes. of, kind of, uh -huh. kind of uh, headphones? Yes, yes. Are okay. in yours. I prefer the Beats. It, it's a or good. the Lenovo. Ah, the Lenovo sounds, are good. The sound, the sound sounds better. <laughs> yes. Okay, the next one. The next one is, do you have brand loyalty to certain brand? Which brand do you have loyalty? Okay, in my case, uh, in my case for makeup, I prefer burger because I know the quality is better than the other, than, than the other ones. But in clothes, I prefer some, uh, okay, I love to go to pool and buy and shop, and shop clothes there, and the kind of clothes. And the food kind, in the food case, I prefer, actually I prefer to cook, to cook at home. And I don't know you. I love them. And it's my preference. Is it's the best for me. The best brand. Yes, about 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 clothes. About about clothes, I love. I love that that brand. And you? Yes, I, my favorite brand oh. is Coca-Cola Zero. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, see, I, I... I like the flavor. I listened that, okay, it's okay. You um, are... Do you have brand loyalty to certain brands? And in my case, maybe bands. Uh, I prefer that brand, but some sometimes I buy other brands. As uh, I think, um, yes, uh, 50 50 And do what? You no, have. I don't. I don't have loyalty. If if I, I if if I I find another brand were, uh, with similar characteristic oh i prefer the the shipper <laughs> the shipper uh, i don't have loyalty for any any for any uh, brand 
And you, Fatima? I don't Do have, you have to, a loyalty. I don't have to run royalty, but I like the the Jeep brand. Jeep. Cares. Jeep. Yes. Is the Jeep, Jeep. Jeep. underground? <laughs> Uh, the cars, the jeep. Mm -hmm. Ah. Ah. Yeah. What else? <laughs> what? I don't know. Maybe only only that. Or Adidas. I don't know. Adidas. Yes. Yes. It's, it's another. It's another brand awareness. And yeah, we have a lot of. <laughs> Okay, yes. the, the fourth question is, what brand do you think have good apps? I don't know what is the meaning ADS. Could you help out, teacher? Ads is basically uh, like advertisement or publicity. That is the meaning of ads. Thank ah, you, okay. Miss. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, the same brand that we are talking the Nike or Adidas or Apple or um, Samsung, they have a good a, a good ad advertising. Yes. Yes, because they have a lot of money. <laughs> they have a yeah. They 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 have a good position in the in the market. Yes. Because they have yes, they have a high quality. The price is is a spend is a little bit expensive, but but they they come they they if you compare that other is 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 similar. I think so because yes. Nike, Adidas, and New Balance is like at the same price, for example, and they are they are a, a good as and a good position in in the market. Yes. Which others and Isabel? What do you what do you think about the the question number four? What brand do you think have good ads, good advertising? What brand do you think have good? Good ads is good advertising or they have a publicity in the market or they have a lot of <laughs> the the people recognize that his brand very easy because they have a lot of advertising or publicity or for in social media or 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 in the store or, or maybe in the street when you go to buy car or, I don't know. <laughs> But uh, the brand similar that we say with Antonio, yes, Antonio or, or Nike, Adidas, or Google. Yes, I think. McDonald. Uh, I think the the Papayon Pizza is a is a brand very recognized in in the country, no? Yes. And. Uh, and The Chinese a... food? You, yes, you talk yes. about the Chinese food? Which by advice? Then. For me, oh my god. In for Christmas, I saw an advertise an advisor on the TV. It was talking about I think it was Maggie. They were talking about to cook like your grandmother. Instead, they are not with us anymore. That advice made me cry, but I want to try <laughs> that not that specific uh, soup that they have. No, oh, I think I remember. Me and Coca Cola has a good advisor too. Uh -huh, I want to say that. Yeah, I'm. I want to say that. Has good, good as for the. Uh, World Cup, for example, or Christmas, or special events, events yes. as, as good ads. 
Yes, I remember the, the, the commercials of Coca-Cola when I was little. Yeah, they are very good. <laughs> they were very good. <laughs> I remember and the your feelings to make them buy it. It's very good yes. family. You can eat with a Coca-Cola in mm -hmm. your family, and that kind of. And the Christ it's Christmas time and yes. all things like that. Yes. Yeah. With his Coca-Cola mm -hmm. Santa Claus. This is different than <laughs> the other brands. Yes. And yeah. Uh, and the little, a, a, little on a polar bear. Yes. If you see a, a polar bear, you can automatically identify Coca-Cola. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Totally. The next yes. one. <laughs> Yes, that's why I said, do you think buying brand products is a waste of money? Why? Waste. Or why not? Yes, waste, sorry. Waste of money. Why or why not? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. It, it depends. It depends if you buy just for the brand. For example, I had a, a, a teammate in the university that he just both a uh, iPhone just for the brand. He, <laughs> al he mm -hmm. always wants the, the new ones, but it's just for the brand. And that is not the main reason that I have. It's I want to, to Actually, buy a, it depends. Actually, it depends. Article. In most places from my work, I have an iPhone. <laughs> but it's, it is because they have uh, the, uh, the highest security that I ever had in the phones. So for my personal yeah. phone, I have a Samsung because I prefer the camera, uh, the storage, uh, the screen, the colors on the screen. But in iPhone, in my case for my work, I prefer. No. Can for you example, repeat? When, when you buy a um, um, <clears throat> fridge, the, the seller say if you have a if you want a premium line because it's the high quality or you you buy a bra a, a regular brand and then because mm -hmm. the quality is different also the price is higher in, than the other one yeah okay okay that's it i guess okay I think it's is is the is that is the end, no? Seven. Yes. Okay. Finish the work. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm you already to... finished all the questions? Yes, and talking in English. Yes. Nice. I love it's it. It's Very hard, but good. I'm <laughs> okay, it's so nice. let me ask you, do you have a brand loyalty? Yes, for me, yes. Okay, which ones? Which brand? In, in, in full McDonald's, in okay. uh, electrical items, Whirlpool, ah. because it's nice. It's, it's, it's excellent. <laughs> the, the durability. Okay. The long durability, then the money is nice to invest. In, invest? Invest in that. Mm -hmm. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, Sounds good. And, and but... Let's see, why McDonald's? Why do you have oh, brand yeah. loyalty to McDonald's? French fries is the best <laughs> of the world. <laughs> ah, that's nice detail. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's for that reason. Yeah. Okay, got it. Oh, How... Also with Mac, but, but the best is French fries. <laughs> yeah. hmm, okay. For me. For me. <laughs> nice. How about you, Jamie? Do you have a brand loyalty? Yes, I have a loyalty brand. Is a kind of Korean or, or cream? Cream for the face. For the face, cream. Yes, cream. Uh, yes. Cream for the face. It's or you can like, say, like, or you can say face cream, like facial face cream. cream. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. A, a facial cream. <laughs> Is la it, the name is la Roche Posay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the only 
<laughs> yes, I, I heard the name. What is the name say, Jamie? Uh -huh. La, La Roche Posey is the only loyal French brand. Is uh, French brand? Ah. Uh, no. I believe, yes, yes. It's, it's yeah, because totally when you pronunciation the word, I, I think it's, it's different. Like a French, it's yeah. different. <laughs> and why? Why do you have the loyalty to this brand? Uh -huh. uh, I have explained to Rosalina when yes. you first a first time and you use it, uh, in, the, in the next step, you can see change in your face. In your face oh, and so you immediately and, see the difference yes in the next day oh, and so oh. you say oh <laughs> I, I have to buy again <laughs> <laughs> all right so rosalina we need to take notes right <laughs> yes because i use lancon and, and for us for us for that, i ask about the name yeah, yeah, we we need it. We we yes. we need to try it. Yes, it's an emergency. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. okay, interesting. Okay, girls, we are going to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Yes, Miss. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, time's up. We are going to wait for the rest of your classmates to go back to the main room. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, let's wait for the rest of the people. Let's go back, everyone. Okay, okay, time's up, time's up. All right, I think some of your class may haven't finished yet. Let's go back, everyone. Okay, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? Or interesting? What do you think? How was the practice? Interesting. Ah. Interesting too, yeah. All right. I think we were learning a lot of brands. All right. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? A few. Just a little bit? No. A little no? bit. No. No? no. Okay. Only <laughs> English. Okay. That's the idea. I know that sometimes we can also we can always find right some uh, words difficult to say it in English, but let's try to avoid all of them. Super good that I was listening. Most of you were participating. Excellent, because that's the idea, everyone. Remember, we are in the intermediate level. The idea for the intermediate level is learn vocabulary and talk. Basically, if you see, we don't study like a lot of grammar topics because you studied grammar topics in the previous levels. So the idea in this level is learn vocabulary and speak. That's the idea for this level. So super good. You are trying. I liked it. I know uh, I, I, something that I loved is that when I was listening to some teams, sometimes a classmate say, I don't know what is that, but the other members of the team were explaining. So that's what I want. We have to help each other. We are a team. Now, little observations, everyone. Um, more cheap. Hmm, can I say that? more no. cheap. Why no. not? What is the correct one? Cheaper. Ah, cheaper. So this is a topic that I would like to everybody practice and review. Okay. Mm -hmm. The topic is comparative adjectives. 
This topic is very important. Remember, we have short adjectives and long adjectives. When the adjective is short, like cheap, we cannot use more, no. What we need to do, we just need to add ER. If the adjective is long, for example, expensive, look, we have more than one syllable. We have a lot of syllables here. So in this case, we use the word more, more expensive. If you feel that this topic is difficult for you, so it's time to review a little bit. And this is the topic, comparative additives. Okay, I listen to this word in different groups. Hmm, how can I say this word in English? Comfortable. Okay, but comfortable is an adjective. And this word is a noun. So what will be the noun? It's similar to comfortable. It's very similar. Table. Okay, comfort. Comfort. Okay. Comfortable is the adjective. For okay. example, oh, my bed is very comfortable. So that is the adjective. But the noun is comfort. Okay. So be careful with that. There are some specific words that we need to always search on the dictionary. Please. Sometimes we make the mistakes that, for example, um, is if I don't know how to say a word, we just combine it in English. <laughs> so that is something that happens. So for example, and this is a very common mistake. Sometimes we say actualmente. I, I forgot how can I say actualmente, but I say actually, porque me suena como que esa es, right? So I said actually, actualmente, I think that they are the same. So they are not the same. So please, if you don't know the word, let's go to the dictionary, okay? So remember the purpose for this level, vocabulary and speaking. Now, um, before continue, I'm just going to check attendance again. So everyone, if you listen to your names, say present. So, Carlos Abrego. No? Okay. Christian Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Jasmine. Present. Very good. Fatima Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay, Fatima, I had a question. Yes. <laughs> I, I always say Denise, but I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation for your name. Yes, it's Denise. Okay, sorry, <laughs> it's just that I had another student in another team <laughs> and she told me that is Denise. So I, I got, I felt bad because I always say Denise to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, Gabriel Beltran. Oh, his listener, okay. Pres present teacher, present. Yes, thank you, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. um, Hector Francisco? Present teacher. Very good. Isabel Hernandez? Present Very good. Ivan Guzman? Oh, his listener, very good. Uh, Jamie Raquel? Present. Very good. Holman Giron? Present. Very good. Lucy Natalie? Very good. Magdaleno Escalante. Um, Nelson Antonio. Present. Very good. Oscar Armando. Present. Very good. Um, Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rosalina Alvarado. Present. Okay. Selvin Adonai. Okay, very good. And Mirna Elizabeth. Present, Miss. Excellent. Okay, everyone, let's pretend that this is a speaking evaluation. Okay, 
let's pretend it is not but let's pretend so in this moment i want you to give me your best speaking your best answer the most fluent answer that you can all right i'm going to ask you the same questions that you practice in the breaking rooms so i need a volunteer who wants to be the first one oh my goodness only one please if i don't have volunteers i'm going to pick someone uh-huh volunteers no excuse me where is the topic <laughs> I'm just going to ask you the same questions that you practice. But the idea is that you have to pretend that this is a speaking evaluation. That's the idea. But okay. they are the same questions. Okay. Okay, Rosalina, you will be the first one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. only one question, so no worries. Okay. okay. Hello, what's your name? My name is Rosalina Alvarado. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice yes. to meet you too. How are you? Right now? Mm -hmm. mm, a little tired, but I'm hungry. hungry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, me too. No worries. Okay. So, Rosalina, do you have a brand loyalty to certain brands? Yes, of course. In full, McDonald's. Because okay. I, I love the French fries. I, I, I told you this is the best of the world for me. <laughs> because I I I test the Burger King. I don't like that. I test the Wendy's. It's it's a different, but for me it's McDonald's. For that reason, I loyal brand. All right, sounds good. Okay, thank you. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Of course. Let me see, Fatima. Thank you. Probably. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Fatima. Thank How are you? you? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I am fine. Thank you. So tell me, do you have a favorite brand? Yes, I have. My favorite brand uh, for cola drink is Coca-Cola Zero. Ah, why do you like it? For the flavor. I like so much the Coca-Cola Zero. <laughs> How about it's, the price? Uh, it's, it's nice for me. It no, no, it's expensive. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Hector. Thank you. Hello, Hector, how are you? I cannot hear you. Teacher, hello. Okay. Yes, I can hear you now. How are you, Hector? I'm fine, pretty tired only, but I'm happy. Excellent. How about you? Oh, so far, so good. Thanks for asking. So tell me, Hector, um, what are some brands with high brand awareness? Oh, it's a difficult question, but for me, I, the, the brand with the uh, high awareness, awareness? Is, uh, um, uh, awareness is a Pollo Campero because right. it's, uh, it's have, have a lot, have a lot uh, store, they sell any product. Many, many, sorry, many product, uh, chicken, uh, pizza, dinner, uh, breakfast, anything. For me, the, this brand have a, a high awareness teacher. Awareness. Awareness. Okay, sounds good. Definitely, I agree with you. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Yes, I can. Uh, Pamela, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Pamela. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm great. 
I'm here fighting with my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been a very difficult night for you, but thank you for your effort. I'm glad for that. So let's see, tell me Pamela, um, what brands do you think have good ads? Good ads. Well, we were talking about in, in our group uh, that we think Coca-Cola have good commercials and ads. I think you, you see advertising about Coca-Cola everywhere, like in su in summer, we are we are close to summer, uh, or in the season of Christmas, we were talking about where I remember the the commercials of Coca-Cola when I was little uh, about the Santa and the little polar bears and all the things like that, and there there is always a Coca-Cola. And I think there is a very, very good commercial in how to create that image to the, to the customers. Very good. Yeah, I remember those two, very emotional. I love it. Okay, Pamela, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Mirna. Thank you. Hello, Mirna. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Oh, I'm great. Thanks for asking. <laughs> so, do you think buying brands products is a waste of money? Oh, in my opinion, no. Because Why not? when because if you buy a brand product, you you buy a high quality. And if the high quality, you have to pay for high quality. And in my case, I, 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 I think that is not a waste of money if you buy a, a brand product. Mm, so it's always a better idea to buy the brand products. Yes, if you like it, yes. If you if you are comfort or if you want to, to for example, my case, the shoes is is not waste my my money. Is is for my life. Is for my healthy or for my or your comfort. Comfort, yes. That is are very good. Thank you, Mirna. Can you pick one of your yeah. classmates, please? Um, We got um, oh, sorry, Christian. Christian. Okay, hello, Christian. How are you? Hello. How are you? Fine, right, teacher. Can you name any economy brands? Economy brands, for example, the economy, uh, economy, economy pack. I don't know. I don't remember of McDonald's, for example. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. But that is a just a product. But for example, another brand is Dollar City. There are many brands that are cheaper. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, Dollar City. Do you think that is an economy brand? Yes, there's there's economy brands. Why? Why do you think that that is an economy brand? Uh, I think there is economy brand because you find the same brands there. And for example, super selectos, and there is more expensive than Dollar City. It's different presentation, but it, uh, there are auction more cheaper or cheaper than, than other supermarkets. Oh, okay. Sounds good, mm -hmm. sounds good. Can you pick one of your classmates, please? Uh, yes, I pick two. Uh, Holman. Okay, thank you. Hello, Holman. How are you? Hi. Hi. Holman, what are some premium brands you know? Well, 
there are a lot of about um, uh, about clothes technology um okay talking about clothes can you tell me some premium brands there is there are mm -hmm. premium and uh, I don't know how can I say the the lujo luxury luxury like Gucci with the tongue mm -hmm. that I look for but it's for rich people but uh, there are uh, like Nike it's it's very good brand um Nike Levi's Levi's for for jeans polo Lacoste and is 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 premium premium clothes okay Nike, okay polo Okay, nice. Thank you, Holman. All right. Uh, because of the time, I cannot interview you well, one by one. But imagine that this uh, was your speaking evaluation. What will be your score, everyone? Would you get a 10, 9, 8, what would it be your score if this would have been your speaking evaluation? Uh-huh, the ones that answer, <laughs> tell me. And nobody wants to say, come on, you have to be confident, come on. I'm gonna get the degree. <laughs> That's the idea, <laughs> okay. So, Actually, you did it great, everybody. You understood the question? Absolutely. Did you give details? Absolutely, yes. You even gave it examples. Did you have fluency? That is a little detail that we need to improve. Sometimes we hesitate too much. Add about grammar. Look at these little details. We only got two minutes, so let's review the details a um, little bit fast. Imagine if I say, eh, no, it's expensive. Is that correct? No, it's expensive. Mm. What is the correct sentence here? It's not expensive. Very good. So, no, it's expensive. No, the correct one is, it's not expensive. Okay. Pronunciation of this word? Awareness. Awareness. Pollo Campero have. Is that correct? Has. Correct. Yes. Third person, everyone, always. Can I say many product? What do you think? Many products. Ah, many products. Remember, many is for plural. So, products. More cheaper. Just cheaper. Exactly. More is not necessary, only cheaper. So if you see everyone, little details are the ones that we need to practice. The main observation is third person, countables, I mean, when we were talking about the quantifiers and the comparative adjectives, because I think that that is the ones that is giving us more issues. Continue practicing speaking. Remember, that is the purpose for this level, vocabulary and speaking. And that is the areas that we need to practice more. Don't be shy to practice. Don't be shy to participate here in the class, please. Okay? Well, we don't have more time. Unfortunately, we are going to continue tomorrow. So the winner for today is Jamie. So Jamie, you had to stay. The rest of you, everybody, 
You can go to sleep. Have a good night. Don't forget to work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. You. Okay, bye-bye. Good night. See you. See you. Only Jamie stays, please. The rest of you, see you tomorrow. Good night, good night. Hello. Yes? Can yes, you hear me? Hear. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you, Jamie. Just wait for everyone to leave, please. Okay. See you tomorrow, everyone. Good night. Okay, I think that they are listeners. That's why they are still here. Okay, Jamie, how are you? Okay, I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy? Tired? Tired. <laughs> <laughs> what time do you wake up every day? I wake up uh, all day, the Monday to Friday. And for with 30 minutes a.m. Very early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. and on weekend? Uh, I wake up uh, the seven. Ah, okay. So basically, yes, from Monday to Friday, but very early. Okay. Yes, yes. Because our the traffic is so so hard. Oh my we, gosh. We need to uh, we need to live. Early. <laughs> Early, definitely. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a very quick meeting. This is just to clarify some questions that you may have about the class or about the platform or the program in general. So this is your moment. I don't know if you have any questions or comments that I can help you with. Uh, only question. Uh, today I was doing uh, the homework of Plata of Plata. Uh huh. Uh, one question. Uh, I don't understand completely because uh, say what is the four piece? But I write the uh, product price promotion. In place, but the I when I click evaluate is mm -hmm. wrong. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, well, in this case, remember that when it is typing, it's very delicate, like the answers, because only one letter is wrong, everything mm -hmm. is wrong. So in this case, you have to consider two things. For example, the first one is that a, every letter has to be correct. You have to add a comma after each word. For example, product, comma, price, comma, place, comma, and promotion. And the second thing that you have to consider is that at the end, you need to add a point. If you don't add a point, so they can take it as incorrect. I'm going to send you uh, the answer uh, that I had here. If I do the exercise, uh, let me try. It's in the exercise two, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, my platform is a little bit slow, but this is the answer that I send and send it in the chat look this is the way that you have to write it product comma price comma place comma promotion and a last point at the end so if okay. you put it in that way mm -hmm, they will take it as okay. correct answer yes okay. mm -hmm. yeah. i don't know if you have another question about that exercise yes when we when we we'll find find this model, um, I believe that it's this model of the course intermediate. When do we when finish? We, That's what you mean? No, no. Uh, I guess that we're going to finish in April. Yes. The April. But when this. Uh, 
when we find this, this model, we are going to pass to another level. Absolutely. So what? It, well, that just depends, right? I mean, if you get the attendance scored, if you finish the platform with a good uh, percentage, you will move to the next level. At the contrary, you have to repeat. Okay, and the, what is the next level? In this case, you will have a intermediate four. Uh, what models are? Let's see, in intermediate level, let me check. I don't know if I have... Mm, mm. Okay, for intermediate, if I'm not wrong, we have five or six levels in the intermediate. Okay. Mm -hmm. And after okay. that, you move to the advanced level. Advanced. Okay. Exactly. So Perfect. take a, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take advantage <laughs> because remember, that's why it's very important to learn here in the intermediate. Um, you have to learn vocabulary and speak because this okay. is the moment to improve that area. When you go to the advanced level, I mean, you have to have a lot of vocabulary. You already have to be fluent in the speaking because in the advanced is another topics, the ones that you will go and practice there. Mm -hmm. okay. So okay. yeah, you can say that basically we are in the middle of the intermediate, three more levels and you go to the advanced. Okay, perfect. Yeah, very <laughs> so good. Going to <laughs> you will do it. You are doing great, actually. I like it because you participate a lot. You work on the platform. Actually, you have a very good attendance. So keep going. You are doing a great job. All right. <laughs> very good. I don't know if you have any other question that I can help you no with. One. I can help. No one. Okay, very good. So we're going to stop here, Jamie, so you can go and rest. So keep working on the platform. If you have a question about an exercise, just let me know and I will help you, okay? Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay, so see you tomorrow then. Good night. Bye. Good night.